friends, if you're following me for a longer time, you've seen that I've been in Spain for the last four weeks, and today I want to tell you about my vacation. So a couple of weeks ago, I flew from Hamburg to Spain together with my parents, of course, and we're in Spain for a whole month. And of course, we also did a YouTube video about the flight, so if you're interested in that, and if you're thinking about flying with your puppy or with your dog, i link it here for you guys because we shared lots of tips and tricks and also explained how everything went uh, in that video and you can check that out if you want to and in general my parents are just so so happy that everything worked out so well and that i'm such a good puppy and uh, it was like no stress on me at all and it's so important to them because we got an apartment in spain so we're going to be in Spain also many months during the year and then also in Hamburg, of course. And that's why it's so important for them that I can like fly as a puppy and it's like no stress at me because I basically sleep through the whole flight. And that even means that I'm probably going to do it even better as a full grown doggo. And it's just so nice because we also had such a great time in Spain and it was just so, so good for me also as a puppy to go on adventures with my parents and to see something new. And because we've been there for like four weeks, it felt like home to me as well. So I really, really adapted fast to the new environment and my parents gave me the first couple of days to really take it slow and to not overwhelm me. And that's why it was so easy for me to adapt and make it feel like home. And then we also did some trips throughout Spain and we rented a car because we don't have a car yet in Spain. So we're going to probably buy that in May. And we live south of Alicante at the East Coast. And that's why we did some trips to the north of Alicante. And the first city that we were visited was Villa Joyosa. And it was such a nice city. Like, I really loved it because it was right at the beach. And actually, the city is known for its colorful houses, and um, which you can also see in my videos. And of course, my parents wanted to take like a thousand pictures and videos of me uh, because everything was just so nice. It was such a nice atmosphere. Um, but I have to admit that it was worth it because the pictures and videos really turned out great <laughs> and after like strolling out to the city we drove up further to the north and went to the city Benidorm and Benidorm is kind of like the Manhattan of Spain because it has lots of lots of tall building kind of like skyscraper like and there we also visited the beach and looked at the tall buildings from the beach and then I got to have some water, but also some food. So my parents really make sure to bring a lot of stuff for me. So I always have water, food and my snackies and also a blanket that they always bring. So when they're sitting down at a restaurant, I can lie on it if I want to. And it's just so I know my space. And it was just like so nice because I basically had a picnic by the beach. And afterwards, my parents went to grab some tacos and they looked super, super yummy, but unfortunately I didn't get any of them. But that was fine because I had my lunch beforehand and I was just like chilling in the sun and relaxing and enjoying the good weather. And of course also my parents looked out for me that I don't walk too much. So we always just do like a small stroll through the city and my parents also carry me a lot and I'm used to that. So that works for me very well as a little puppy.
we've seen such a cool thing and we saw flamingos living in the wilderness. It was just so, so cool for me as a puppy. Like I've been to the zoo once and I've seen so many different animals there, but they didn't have any flamingos. So I think that was super, super cool. So we stopped the car and just looked at them for a little bit. And my parents actually told me that these looked a little bit more whitish, but some of them are really, really pink and it kind of apparently depends on what they eat. So I was very impressed with my parents having so much knowledge and I just thought that they were super, super pretty and I really liked the animals. And then we drove back and at some point, of course, had to return the car, but we still did also lots of stuff just like by foot in our city. And actually there's such a nice market in our city on Fridays. And my parents found the most amazing stand for churros and they looked so, so, so good. But mom said it's like really not a good thing for me to try. And I mean, I just have to trust her because I never tried it. Um, but that definitely showed me how they make it. And it definitely looked like it's just a lot of fat and a lot of dough. But yeah, that's what I would love to try. But yeah, it's a no for me. And some other day we went down to the beach. It's like a 20 minutes walk from our apartment. So my parents made sure to take the bike and I could just like sit in the basket and they would drive me around so I could like walk at the beach and not like walk the whole way then at the beach and then walk back. That would have been definitely too much. So they just put me in the basket and I felt like a little princess. <laughs> and my parents driving me around. So that was fun and worked out very, very well. So we had a really good time. The only thing that wasn't super, super nice about Spain was that some restaurants really weren't very dog friendly and they didn't want to let me go inside with my parents. And we just like had some troubles because it was still very cold outside. It was like 15 degrees Celsius. So it was too cold to actually sit outside or my parents had to wear their jackets. And they actually told my parents that I'm either like too big and I'm like a toy poodle. I'm a very small dog or I have to go like in a tiny box beneath the table. So my parents didn't really want to do that. So we ended up eating at different places. But yeah, we didn't really have that in Germany so far. Like so far I was allowed to go into every single restaurant and we're not sure whether we were just like unlucky and just had like bad luck with choosing the restaurants that we wanted to go to or whether it's maybe even like a thing in Spain that they're not as dog friendly as Germany and they just don't like dogs in restaurants so maybe you have experiences with that so if you do just like leave a comment and we can figure it out but apart from that our time was awesome and we were very very happy and this was kind of like a little bit different kind of videos so it wasn't really like training or puppy content or like things or tips and tricks that we've learned so let me know if you like it because we think it's great if we like just keep you updated on our life and also do like kind of this vlog style videos so if you like the video just like leave a like and also a comment then we know that we can also do videos like this in the future and then we're super, super excited for the next video because in the next video, I'm gonna have like a makeover because my parents are gonna cut my fur. And of course, we're also gonna do a video on that. And we're also gonna, gonna share like before and after pics. So I'm very excited to see whether my parents can actually do a good job because they've never done it before and um it's it's gonna be exciting for sure so subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss that and we're gonna share the video next week and then you'll see whether i'm happy with what my parents did to my fur <laughs> bye bye